Welcome back to the weekly Top 10 Countdown. My name is Sunlight Blade, and you are watching the only show where community members can submit their own footage relating to the topic of the video, which this week is Top 10 Sneak Attacks. If you want to know how to submit your own footage, next week's submission category is Top 10 Epic Fails. So if you have any hilarious fails, feel free to submit them to me. I will explain how you can submit your footage at the end of this video. Otherwise, let's get straight into this week with the most underhand, sneaky tactics you've ever seen. Let's start off at number 10. Number 10 is excellent at setting the mood and tone for this week's countdown. We have Uzi who casts Power Within for a quick damage boost and then decides to restrict his opponent's visibility. He uses Poison Mist in this tight hallway space and casts a Sunlight Spear through the mist which hits the opponent because the opponent's visibility was severely reduced and gets a very nice one hit kill and you never see sunlight spits, very rare miracle so congratulations to Uzi. Now number 9 can be a very useful lesson for our younger viewers, this is Courtney XX17 and all I have to say about this invasion is that never trust a naked woman, uh, that will serve you well in life so always remember that. Now, on a serious note, that was very creative and very sneaky indeed. Some nice shady tactics we've got going, so congratulations to Courtney. Two submissions into the countdown so far and still no sign of Chameleon. Until now. This is not ECEC at number 8 and he turns into a lectern in the Duke's archives which completely hides him from his opponent's view. What I love about this is you know exactly what's going to happen before it happens. That was amazing. GG to the Red Phantom. And I'd definitely like to see some more people utilising this amazing spell that From Software implemented into the game, in my opinion, specifically for PvP. Congratulations. At number 7, we have some Dragon Bro action from our buddy Zach Lindsay. And he's using Hidden Weapon on his Dragon King Great Axe, which makes you realise. There's a lot of tools that From Software has implemented to allow players to play stealthily if they so choose in PvP. Congratulations to Zach Lindsay for using a very underrepresented and underestimated sorcery as well as a unique setup. It's not often you see a dragon sorcerer take the primary strength route, so well done for being unique. At number 6 we have a submission from Crazy999 and I know a lot of people are going to get excited by this one because everybody loves a really good ninja cosplay and this appears to be a cosplay of the bodyguard who follows Shiva in the forest and that was one of the best plunge attacks I've ever seen. A one hit kill from Crazy999 so good that we have to have it again in slow motion because I'm sure a lot of people missed it. So congratulations to Crazy999 and for including a bit of lore cosplay in this countdown. Yeah, he's in the bonfire. I'm going to I'm going to kill the phantom. I'm going to kill the phantom.
Uh oh. This sneaky submission is submitted by Ouroboros the Ninja, and this is a very entertaining clip that I'm sure you'll all enjoy, and it has a very minimal amount of commentary, so I will let you listen to the original game sound. Congratulations to Ouroboros the Ninja, and I know you guys love your plunge attacks, so I think this next invasion should satisfy your needs. This is Finku94, and he's in the Ulusil Township, where a red invader decides to come hunting for him, and soon turns into the hunted. Now after that amazing plunge attack, I wouldn't blame you if you said that this invasion couldn't get any better, but watch this. Finku94 takes his red phantom opponent out with a one hit backstab, barehanded. Four damage was all it took to end his opponent's life. Congratulations to Finku94. Number three, we have Flolance, and he's doing some Sense Fortress invasions, and I think we can all tell where this is going. He's in Red Tearstone Hyper Mode, and he's got the Dragon King Great Axe, which actually has been featured on this countdown before. Maybe people are returning to strength weapons, that would be interesting. Anyway, he gets a very nice plunge attack with an amazing R2 finish, which is just a textbook invasion, really. You couldn't really get much better than that. Very entertaining to watch, and very sneaky. Thank you, Flolance, for your submission. Number two is interesting, something a little different. We have Adel Al Shamari, apologies for any mispronunciation, and he uses chameleon form in the Demon Ruins. This turns you into a fire breathing rock statue. And what's interesting is he gets invaded by someone in full giants with a Chaos Zweihander, which uh, some people may know as being a giant dad cosplay. And as you can see in front of him, he has a circle of prism stones with an item in the middle. And what truly baffles me is how some players still don't understand that when you see that, it's clearly a trap. <laughs> anyway, Adel Al Shamari has clearly set up the bait and now simply has to wait for the fish to bite. And yes, it does seem to take an unbelievably long time as his opponent, for some reason, I guess has never encountered Chameleon before. Uh, it's quite interesting how long it takes for some people to realise what's going on. But anyway, Adel Al Shamari comes out of hiding as his opponent falls into the trap and he takes out the opponent as he's in red tearstone mode while breathing fire, which is a perfect cosplay of what he's playing as. Congratulations on taking the number two spot. Moving on to number one. At the number one spot this week, we have a submission from someone who got the second spot last week and they've really up their game this week and improve their content and improve their submission to the point where he definitely takes the number one spot well deserved well done to Spirus Guardian DKS who seems to be an incredible master of insane plunge attacks as here he takes out the host in one hit with his great club Dark Moon Blade and then demolishes the gold phantom who just seemed to be oblivious and then as a well what is it to the abyss congratulations to Spirus Guardian DKS for finishing off this countdown plunging style. And thank you guys for watching. We managed to hit 3,000 likes last week, which was insane. If we can hit 2,000 likes again this week, I will be overjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you want to know how to submit your video, it's very simple. All you have to do is record your footage, upload it to YouTube, and send it to me via a YouTube private message. It's very simple. I highly recommend submitting because there's a very high chance you'll get in, although the bar has definitely been raised recently due to some amazing contributors. Thank you for watching once again, I hope to see you next time, and have a good week.